The spike in inflation locally and across the country is cause for concern for the Kelowna Women's Shelter. As we face the highest rise in the cost of living since the 1980s, survivors of domestic abuse often can't just leave because they are dependent on their abuser for basic needs. Women sometimes are not allowed to go to work, they don't have access to bank accounts, they don't have access to um, financial assistance, meaning uh, money, they're often, they're often held or tied to the abuser, asking for money for food for them and the children. They, even if women are allowed to get out of the house to work, uh, perpetrators will show up to work, make it extremely difficult for women and children to maintain their lifestyle. So they're very dependent, which is the goal of domestic abuse, is to make women and children dependent on their abuser. This year, the Love You by Shoppers Drug Mart program has chosen to support the Kelowna Women's Shelter with online and in-store donations from September 10th to October 14th. The awareness that it raises around domestic abuse and the actual experiences in the local community of Kelowna is priceless. Uh, so the, the donations, every donation that people make towards the Love You campaign goes directly to women and children experiencing domestic abuse in Kelowna. Uh, we have women and children that show up to our shelter with nothing but the clothes that they stand up in. So you really are asking a family that leaves abuse to start again. They, they literally have nothing. So where we, Shoppers Drug Mart uh, is phenomenal with the Women's Shelter, not just with the Love You campaign, but in general, they, they donate basic needs to us. So all those things that we take for granted, um, that women and children show up with nothing. McLaughlin adds another fringe benefit of the Giving Shelter campaign is that it raises awareness in the community and helps remove the stigma from survivors of domestic abuse. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.